Swartz Creek's a small town just outside of Flint, Michigan. Um, you know, all the five track races were born in Flint, Michigan, and uh, we've migrated just outside to the, the suburbs, I guess. And uh, here we are in Swartz Creek. Me and Scott Parker are probably Swartz Creek's biggest names, right, right underneath uh, some big band by the name of Grand Funk Railroad, 70s rock stars. I like being home. I'm a homebody, I always have been. Um, you know, I'm, I come back every every weekend after the race, used to stay on the road a little bit, but I enjoy my home time and unplugging from the racing world so I can do it back here in the woods in Swartz Creek. <laughs> my dad introduced me to motorcycles and Scott Parker was the guy that raced motorcycles. So um, I'm thankful for my dad getting me on a bicycle that led to a motorcycle and pushing me and giving me the opportunity to race. And then a guy like Scott Parker for coaching me along through my career, leading me to be a racer and onto a Grand National Champion. The story I always tell is we lived in Flint, Michigan, crime capital of the country, and to keep him out of trouble, we got him into BMX racing. And I went to school with Scott Parker and he went to a race when he was about eight years old, something like that, and he liked it. And we just supported whatever he wanted to do, actually. He was good at it right from the get-go. And what he's done is amazing, I mean, he's, won multiple championships, X Games gold medal. I know it's a dream come true for him. It's definitely a dream come true for me and my wife and his sisters. Starting to get jealous though, because I went broke getting there. Now he's making a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, I've known Brian since he was about this high and I was just a little higher, not a lot higher, but he was just this little guy hanging around, looking and going, someday I want to do that, you know, and just being a young kid and, uh, you know, playing around it. Hey, get out of that. You know, he was in trouble, you know, hey, get out. You know, he'd always want to tip our beers over or do something, just causing trouble. You know how it is, you know, and just thinking about him being in my garage one day and then winning the championship. Awesome. Woo! Training's part of my life, just like it is every racers. I like to keep it fun and uh, have fun with my buddies, whether it's mountain biking with good friends, Pat Buchanan and Ryan Wells, or, uh, you know, going to the gym and getting my butt kicked in there. It's all part of life. It's part of my everyday life. Every day I'm doing something to make myself a better racer. Nice. Brian Smith is Brian Smith. I mean, what you see is what you get, you know, and that's something that's awesome about Brian. You know, there's no guesswork, and it doesn't matter if you're the president of the United States or you're somebody that doesn't have much of anything. Brian's gonna treat you the same. You know, he's accomplished a ton, and at the same time stayed very humble and just your, your normal everyday guy. The season hasn't been bad by no means, but Jared's just having a better season. I'm pumped on, on this year. I want to do better. I want to win some more races. But overall, I'm stoked to be part of the Indian Wrecking Crew and uh, making history with Indian. Flat Track's headed in a great direction. I'm happy to be at the top of the sport. 